I'm playing Ancestors The Humankind Odyssey, a game that, unlike any other, has made me excited about the future of, of gaming because it is the scope of this game is just so grand. A huge thanks to everyone out there using my support creator code Loga Hansen when buying the game. So guys, I am back in the wild in a new area and I hope to discover even more here, obviously. I have some fear to go. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Once again, we got it done. And this time around, it wasn't intentional either. I'm getting pretty good at having the in, like the wildlife take out each other, but uh, this time it was completely not intentional. It just happened close to where I am. Um, so, I mean, that's the thing. The achievement is real, <laughs> so I guess that's good. But this is what I wanted to conquer my fear once again, expanding my clan's home range. So I have this new area that I can, I was gonna say safely adventure in, but let's be honest, nothing is really safe in this game. There is always something lurking. But anyway, I had new stuff on the lookouts in this area. I have new areas, new like landmarks to discover. And I have these new kind of palm trees, trees, trees that I am pretty curious about. So I want to climb up here and see if we have something edible because it does look like it has fruit. So let us see if we have... Okay, I see two colors. Two colors is always bad because it means something can poison me. It's always like if you eat the green fruit, it's bad. And when the monkey just kind of grabs it, he just picks something. So, I mean, I like that we need to pay attention to what we're eating. But it is a little frustrating when you are managing a group of, of chimps because... Oh, it's a date. Nice. Uh, we're going on a date, guys. Um, yeah, they're just going to be picking something. And I feel like if you have eaten a hundred of these green fruits, they should just, you know, stop picking the fruit that is ripe and not the other. But anyway, just um, see, now I got a green one. So let's see. Oh, it, oh, it was just the inside. <laughs> Stupid me. But anyway, I have a massively broken bone. I'm bleeding and that is the price for discovery. I have I have taken my tribe with me, gone into Cray Cray Land and the only thing I wanted was to like explore more of the game, find new things. I just recently got an emerald. I haven't brought it with me because I wanted to ah uh, there we got some. Ah uh, the green fruit. Bad bad bad. Bad, bad, bad. And I, since this is a completely new area, I don't know where we have water. <laughs> so that was possibly a bit stupid. But we have these thorn bushes, which means that I can make a defensive area. So uh, let's find some water. Uh, no, that was not water. What about there? Also not water. Great. Well, I know we have water in the area. It's one of the cool things about this part of the game. I don't know if the entire game is going to be jungle, but we always have water food, horse tail, like the important stuff appears to be close by all the time. I'm expecting that once I get further in the game, the environment is going to be more like challenging with less safety zones. But let's see, jungle, cascade, oasis. And this is why I said jungle all the time, because I have noticed in my landmarks, they say jungle with like big fat letters. So I think we have other areas than jungle. And considering that I am almost on five days of gaming, probably like 50, 60 hours of having a blast. If this is all just in one terrain type, that is, I don't know guys, that is unbelievable. If everything here can be scaled up to other environment types as well, it is, I don't know. I. I it, it would just be amazing. Perhaps too much to ask for. Perhaps it's just, you know, called jungle and that's it. But uh, the thought about it alone has me pretty excited. But anyway, time to time to drink something. I did manage to find water. As you can see, my stamina is down. My lifespan is down. And that is just because I still have my settlement way, way, way back in the starting area. I was thinking about moving it, but then I, like, all sorts of stuff happened, like I found an emerald and I was like, what, I need to stay here a bit more if I haven't discovered a precious stone right where I have been sleeping for 146 years, perhaps it isn't time to move on yet. So that is actually why I haven't 
try to settle in a new location yet, but obviously it's going to happen because I'm moving further and further away from home every time I need to discover something new. All right, so I found another place I could discover right I just wanted to, <laughs> yeah, not, a, not a safe spot, as you can see, um, lo loads of daddies down there, but we are checking it out now, the new landmark, still in the jungle, Hidden Waterfall Oasis, another oasis, because we have the under the cliff oasis as well, so loads of these oasis kind of areas, I assume they are like ideal settling spots given more difficulty that wow this is beautiful it's so crazy this is in-game graphics it's like it's unbelievable that this is the game i'm actually playing and not just a cutscene i was saying that's a freaking meteor i'm not ready for a meteor Okay, we had a meteor fall down in the jungle. Um, I don't know what to think about that. That was that is a complete shocker. Will there be fire? I can see smoke. Will will there be fire? Will there be metal? Um, discover the jungle's hidden waterfall oasis. Yeah, but what about the freaking meteor? What what about the meteor? And now I'm home. Okay, so I just teleported my entire tribe back home because we had a, a what? What is? I don't know. No, this is. Okay, I am confused. I am confused. Um. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna lie down. I'm gonna sleep after mating. We had a meteor, so I got a mate. It's like, it's a thing. After a meteor shower, you got a mate. But no magic pregnancy, so <laughs> it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. But anyway, while that was, um, I'm a, I'm a little, um, I'm not sure what to think about this. Um, a meteor shower, are we gonna see a change in the environment, are we going to, is it gonna affect the wildlife, it, like what's going on man, <laughs> it's like, last, last time I, I like really sat down and played I found, I found a pressure stone out of nowhere, I had no idea we could do that stuff, and now I, I'm just casually strolling around, like detecting my area, uh, and now I have a meteor, and like look, I haven't really progressed that much in my neuronal network. I'm pretty much locked on everything. I need to I need to practice more and more and more and like stuff is happening. It is um yeah. I I don't know what to say. I know that this is this is moving closer towards being a graveyard than a home because I think I have like 30 skeletons here so like I said, it's not a safe zone, but I mean it is, but so many bodies I can like analyze here and I don't even do it any longer because I'm always capped on my neuronal energy. It appears that I, I pretty much like I have more of it than I can spend because I'm I'm not really cracking uh, the formula for for doing new things i'm really trying group intimidations you guys may have seen that i've been like doing a lot of that stuff making animals take out each other i'm trying to build more structures i'm trying to like carry piles so that i'm walking on two legs in water with a pile trying to really scale up those things but um yeah i feel like um some kind of uh, like progressional barrier has hit me it may be because i haven't evolved yet a lot of you guys are probably out there like, why haven't you evolved? It has been like 146 years in the game. You have so much in the neuronal air. Like, blah. I don't know. It's um, 
I have strayed completely away from game guides, tutorials, other videos because I want to explore and I'm starting to feel like it's probably gonna be evolution time soon because progression is so slow. But there are things I need to do before I evolve or rather want to do. I want to actually attack something like with a weapon in the game and not just have them gank it out on each other. I'm probably gonna be taking my bone and my emerald with me just because, you know, for show. But let me just show you guys up here. Uh, this is where I've been practicing building and like walking on two legs, carrying stuff. We have these thorn bushes and I'm just building these barriers all over the place because when I'm doing this, I'm walking on two legs, I'm carrying in two hands and I am building. So it is, I was expecting this to be good enough practice, but uh, I gotta fill the area more apparently, <laughs> do even more construction, more carrying, more walking on two legs before I can like boost that part of my neuronal system but it's gonna happen anyway guys that was what i had to share in this episode crazy stuff man with a meteor as always guys thank you very much for watching love you guys